All right, we're back. I just got uh, update 12.3.3 a few days ago. Uh, so I'm gonna do the same exact route I just did uh, when I first got version 12 and see how it round, uh, performs. Now, obviously last time I only had the one uh, fault on the roundabout in the last one. So let's see if it does any better. So again, uh, transport truck here, we're slowing down. It's a little better behavior, a little more cautious in terms of, uh, I know the last video and the roundabout that's coming up, it kind of went a little prematurely, just like I knew the car wasn't going to turn, it was going straight. Uh, but some comments were like, yeah, that should have waited a little bit longer. So that's what I did on that last one. Uh, so here we have a pedestrian up here walking a dog. Uh, obviously it's not going anywhere. So the car is confident to go through the intersection for the roundabout. So out here we have a couple large vehicles on the right. The car is easily moving to the left. So third roundabout, slowing down a little bit just because there's a blind corner on the left. Easily going through it. So moving on, so we have our stop sign. So you can't really see from this angle, but there are a lot of trees over here. Now, the car is supposed to, if there's no stop line up ahead, under the law, you have to stop at the exact point of the stop sign, which is right here. So stopping where it's supposed to. Now I can't see the left over here. So it's gonna creep up. There's a car coming, it's turning left. So the car is now turning left right now into the turn. So now we're gonna go. So good behavior here. So coming up, we have construction. So we have some pylons. So we are going 50. Right now we're going 62. I do have it on the auto setting. So we are gonna slow down to 46. The speed limit is 50. I posted this video on X a few days ago uh, when I went through it earlier. And people were saying, why are you going so slow? We're going 46, 45 right now, and at 50. So easily navigating that, perfect. So we are coming up again to the larger roundabouts. So I'm going to do my best to kind of describe what's happening on the left coast because you can't see it from the camera angle. So lots of traffic coming over there. So you got one car coming in. There's about two or three cars coming. Uh, two are in the left lane. So we should be okay to go. Stopping here. So we have a Range Rover coming. It's going to go. I'm okay with that. Uh, so there was Range Rover, it definitely had enough time. In my opinion, it would have went sooner, but like I said, it's my opinion, the car is going to drive out how it wants to drive. It's not, we're not, that's the problem with a lot of FSD videos is that, well, I would have this way. Well, the car is driving the way it's driving. And yeah, sometimes my opinion would be, oh, I would have did this, or I would have did that, but the car is learning how to drive itself. So coming into the second one, this is where I messed up last time. So we're slowing down, uh, clear route, no cars, so we're good to go. So we are going in the wrong lane right now. So it did mess up. So again, same thing. So um, So we're going to do this, it's going to take us back here. So I'm not too sure why it's having issues with that particular roundabout. Uh, with B11, the, uh, that roundabout was actually one that was actually one that was good at uh, in terms of actually uh, getting the right lane. One of the very few ones. I think there was like two or three, at least one, two at least. 
that it could actually properly navigate the roundabout, and that was one of them. So I don't know why it's messing up now. Uh, so actually, we're gonna go back and we're gonna try it again. This time from this angle. So we got a transport truck coming up here. So we got So again, it's messing up again. It just does not know. So I'm going to take over here cuz I actually do have an appointment to get to. Uh so it was in the wrong lane again. So I'm not too sure what it's doing. All right, so again, uh a little messing up there. But all in all, a lot of really good behavior going forward. Now, like these mess ups are not resulting in accidents. Just like, okay, you messed up the route, so you didn't, you couldn't make it the, the proper turn. So we just went back, turn around, and you know. So what I would, if that, if that last one, if it would have went into like went straight where it wasn't supposed to, then that would have resulted in an accident. And I was ready to take over if that was the case, but it didn't. It recognized that it was in the wrong lane, just continued turning as opposed to uh, trying to fix itself. So good for that. Anyways, uh, I do have to get going, but hopefully you enjoyed this video and uh, plenty more to come with V12, which I think is a far superior uh, product than V11. So major step forward. So. All right, so that does the drive. As you can see, uh, really, really perfect until that last round, but just like the last drive, the last video I did. Uh, and again, for some reason, I don't know why the uh, V11 worked perfectly on that roundabout and V12, eh, not so much. Now, the good news is that it didn't. So when we, the first time it messed up, all it did was realize it was in the wrong lane and then said, ah, I got to try this again. It went straight, uh, did a little loop around, tried again. Again, it realized it was wrong lane. Now, instead of like it could have, just correct it and went straight when it wasn't supposed to, but that definitely would have resulted in an accident. So it knows like when these things are messing up, it's not causing an accident. Uh, so like I said, it's just gonna, it messed up its navigation, it uh, rerouted and went a different way. The other way it messes up is that it is slow or doing something that takes a little more time that people behind me are gonna get annoyed, so I just take over. But that, I haven't seen that a lot lately. So it's really smooth in terms of that. So no disengagements in relation to, um, you know, just being annoying, an annoying driver. Um, so the thing with FSD is that uh, I get a lot of comments like, oh, the car should have this, car should have that. But let's say you were sitting in a car on your passenger side and then you're someone else is driving the car. You're not going to keep commenting, oh, that should be done, that should be done. It's like the car, someone else is driving, that's how they drive the car. And the same with FSD. Technically, someone else is driving the car. And maybe you would have a different opinion of what you should do and when, but as long as you're safe and as long as you're doing it properly, uh, the car is making good decisions and doing a good job about driving and navigating the roads. Uh, so yeah, sometimes it might, I'm not going to agree with the decision, like say changing lanes or stuff like that, but I can easily just, if I don't like the lane that's in, I want to be in their lane, I can just hit that, that turn signal and I'll change lanes. Uh, so not always do you have to agree with what FSA does as long as it's safe and getting to where you want to go. Anyways, we're not at Rover Taxi yet, uh, but definitely this is V12 is a huge improvement over, uh, V11, definitely a step forward. Uh, so let's keep making progress. Uh, anyways, so since all of you are trying FSD out there, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you like this video, you know what to do. Thumbs up, subscribe, notification bell, all that stuff. Uh, so you don't miss videos, which I release about every week or so. Uh, more FSD videos to come, as well as product reviews, as well as uh, how-to tips and tricks for your Tesla. Uh, so again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. In the meantime, drive safe and drive electric. <laughs>